you guys are in a treat for today's video i'm going to show you how to conduct a b testing on your framers website completely for free head to mida.so and sign up with this i don't even know if they have an affiliate link if they do just please use it on the description of this video use mine thank you and then when you have your webs uh, i mean your account you connect and then you have to install the tracking code. So you copy the code. I already did it, but I'm going to show you how to do it. Go to the framer icon here. Then sit si site settings, open settings. And then you will go to general. And then you will click here. You save it. You publish it. And then let me just one sec here. General settings, by the way. Uh, that was my mistake. Because you have to do it on general, not the page in itself. Click on general, then do it here. And then you publish. Take your website URL. I'm just going to do that here. Copy. Already here, you test it by just scrolling through your page. Try things, try things, blah, 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 yada, yada. Come back and normally when it's done, it will say that, oh, okay, we're done. <laughs> Congratulations. Now it's not working. I don't know why it is happening. Okay, it's happening. All right. Then you click on create a new A-B test. A-B test. Let's say I'm personally, I want to test my headline and see which one performs better. Let's say you are running ads to your landing page. Then we'll call it headline test. So this is the URL of your page. No hypothesis. Click on next, then the variant, click on a visual editor. And then it's actually crazy. You can change the headline directly here. <laughs> so let's say uh, I have my other headline. I want to find it. Okay, now I'm just going to waste time here. So let me just try something. Edit element. Okay, so that's it for this. No, so that will be a question. So we'll just add here. Save. And then I will change this as well. Oh my God. Edit HTML here. Just add a small thing. And so this is the tweak. That's it. Uh, can I actually make it a little bit bigger? Font size. Yeah, well, this is crazy. I mean, oh, wow. Yeah, this is amazing. <laughs> okay, so now it's like well aligned. And that's it. So save and continue. And that's it. Now we can click up to next goal added CTA conversion. So that's my goal. I already you know, did it reach a certain page. Okay. So basically, how do you determine if 
the, like what is the conversion for you and if you it's for booking a call basically when someone will click to my cta here he is redirected to my call calendar whatever call oh my god i don't even have yeah uh, is this this one yeah whatever this one let me just open it so i can so yeah this is my calendar and when someone book a call he is redirected to my success page which is this one here this says just your booking is confirmed okay and then you take the url of this page and then you take it here you passed it which is booking confirmed and then that is the conversion like we know that someone ha has booked a call all right and then you can create a custom page uh, if you have organic traffic and you don't want to mess up with the traffic of your ads then just set up a different landing page with a different calendar so you know that it is coming from ads i will do that like that then click on next traffic allocation for this one i would say a hundred percent if you already did uh, what i just told you which is to create new landing pages for the ad for specifically for the test and then you will just send traffic right away but if you want to test your organic traffic as well then just leave it at 100 and that's it test confidence i won't touch that autopilot mode i don't touch that no need to touch anything here so just click on distribute equally and then publish your test and that's it personally i don't have any traffic right now because this is my personal website that i'm revamping right now it's in this is the french version and i want to you know experiment with both headlines because i'm going to run ads on it and happens to be i found a free way to do it so hopefully that was helpful for you and if you have any more questions reach out to me thank you see you next time